Hi folks, Wes Penny here. Uh, I'll be doing a quick video today on tying a small damselfly pattern using texturing body fly. I did uh, a couple of chronomids last week or my last video uh, using the body fly and uh, now I'm going to use it on a damsel pattern. So a size 14 hook. Um, my favorite to tie this on is a size 18 because it's a really nice easy small damsel to tie but we'll do a 14 uh, for the video and uh, this is a 330 second bead. Uh, and I'm using Textream Power Thread, which is a great, strong thread that lays very, very flat. So we'll just uh, start your thread behind the bead, and we'll wrap right down to to the bend. And then we're just going to take a pinch of Marabou for the tail. This will be similar to what you would do with the with the leech pattern. You just grab your tail, kind of see where you want to, the length to be. And we'll just hold it right there. And if you do a loose wrap over top and then bring it down tight, that'll prevent the marabou from spinning around on you. So just a loose wrap and then come down. And then I'm just gonna wrap this forward. off all this extra now you could tie this all off or, or, or cut it off at the tail <clears throat> the only reason I don't like to uh, because it's small and you end up with that hump at the tail and this way you don't get the hump so when they were Got that kind of ready to go, then we'll take the body fly, and I'm using two colors again. So there's um, a yellow olive and a darker olive, and these are both Textream, Textream body fly. And like I did with the chronomid, we take both colors together, and we'll tie them in together. Just hold them together and pinch them in there. It's a good thing I looked, I'm actually missing one. Now I got both of them in there. So take the two strands and hold them together. Give them a little pinch so they're kind of laying right side by side. And then just start wrapping. So as you're wrapping it down, they'll alternate uh, the colors all the way down. And it gives you a really nice ribbed kind of appearance on the body. It's almost like mottled but ribbed. If that makes sense. Uh, the different colors, they, they kind of stand out against each other. So it doesn't take long to fill that body up. And then you can tie it off. <clears throat> Just snip those off. So you can see the different colors and how they kind of stand out against each other. And you don't need to use a rib on this, like there's no wire rib or anything. So the next thing we'll do is take um, a hen feather, kind of prep it with the V, and put that right over top of the, or just behind the bead. And we'll catch that in there, and then pull to the length that you want. <coughs> Excuse me. Trim that off. And 
And the last thing we'll put into it is a little bit of olive ostrich oil. We'll catch that behind the bead. And then it just needs two or three wraps, not a lot. And then to finish it off with white thread, I just take a matching color Sharpie. Add resin or glue or super glue, whatever to that if you want. And so there we go. We have uh, this really nice dual color um, damsel. The body looks very natural. Uh, the tail will come out nice and thin. Some movement with that ostrich hurl. And it's a really effective um, and easy, very easy to tie with this body fly. So um, give it a try and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.